Greetings, happy Friday. My name is Judy Gillum and I'm from First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. And this is your Friday edition of We Are the Church. Today I'd like to share a reading from the book of Luke start in chapter 18, starting with verse 35. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and when he heard the crowd passing by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, saying, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered that the man be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? The man said, Lord, I want to see. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. And when all the people saw it, they also praised God. This is the word of God for each and every one of us this day. Thanks be to God. Wonderful story, wonderful tale of, of healing and mercy and of a great interaction with Jesus and of faith. Well, I'm here to share very briefly my own little story of an encounter with Jesus and healing and faith as I gladly take off my glasses and look at you with some new eyes that I received last Wednesday. Um, I know a lot of you, lots of you, have had cataract surgery over the years and you know the the joy of being able to see again. Well, it was my turn. And last Wednesday, a week ago Wednesday, I had cataract surgery on my right eye. And in a couple months, I'll have the same on my left eye to even things out a bit. But my right eye was by far the worst. And it was nearly blind, legally blind at least, in, in that right eye. And I didn't realize how bad it had gotten until I was able to take the, the patching off my right eye many hours after my surgery and looked around for the first time. Looked at, most importantly, my television and saw that I could read the score on the Dodger game. And at that point, it didn't matter how good or how bad the score was, I could read it without being able to get up or being without having to get up and walk across the room and stand about a foot in front of the TV to read the score. That was a pretty amazing moment for me. Another great moment was coming into church on Sunday and sitting in my usual spot in the pews, but being able to see like I'd never been able to see before. Things were not fuzzy. I could read the words on the screen. I could see the people in the choir very clearly. I could I could see every detail, every brick. It was marvelous. And it is a wonder and a miracle and a healing to receive this from Jesus. Yes, it was my surgeon's hands that skillfully replaced the lens in my eye, but my prayers and your prayers ahead of my surgery, um, calling out to Jesus, for healing. That faith, I believe, is what sustained me, what got me through, and, and allowed my body to be healed. And I did get up and go away praising God, and I continue to every day when I get up and I'm able to see across my backyard, across the street, places, things that I hadn't been able to see very clearly before. We are called in this passage to not just go 
Yay! Another cataract surgery successful and what's next? We're called to rise up from these moments of healing, however big or small they are in our lives, and to follow Jesus and to praise God. And not only the person that received the healing is called to praise God, but those around who witness and have supported and, and prayed for this person to receive healing, to see what God can do in the life of a person, whether it be a physical healing or a spiritual and emotional healing, whatever it may be, when healing happens in our lives, when we see the hand of God that has worked so beautifully in our lives or in another life, it's for us to give glory to God. So that's what I'm doing each and every day. I haven't been able to stop smiling since this took place a little over a week ago. And I will never take my eyesight for granted again. Um, and I hope you don't either. But how can we keep from singing God's praise when we witness these amazing miracles in another person's life? We never take these things for granted. And we get to call out to Jesus every day for whatever concerns us in our lives, be it a need for healing, be it a need for love and compassion, where we need to hide, we need to be lifted up by God's Spirit, whatever it may be, God is with us. And His Holy Spirit is always there guiding us. And we get to call out to Jesus, and by our faith, we are healed and strengthened and sustained. So, look around. Look around you this day and every day to witness and give witness to the hand of God working in your life and in other people's lives. Let's pray. Holy God, thank you for your faithful presence and your healing hand in our lives. Help us to be aware of every moment, every instance where you intervene, where you guide, where you heal, where you embrace us with your presence. And help us to be bold enough to say, yes, that was God that did this thing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Lord, we give you all thanks and praise for all that you do in our lives, and we give you thanks and praise for this glorious day. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, thank you. I look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. But for now, have a great Friday, a lovely weekend. Feels like it might be summer finally. So enjoy that, and I'll see you soon. Remember, wash your hands, read a psalm, and tell someone that you love them. See you soon. Bye-bye.